Now it's time for the Kennards High replay of the bank's historic win over Wanderers in round two. So ball thrown up yet again. No bouncing today on the cricket pitch to, uh, despite the hard surface as Beecham now in the ruck. Doughty runs on to this one, loses a handle on things, gets the handball out though. Brilliant hand pass in the end, heading in a long direction of Farrah, swooping on the back and Bulldogs got another one for the Doggies. Well, umpires uh, conferring at the moment. Waiting for the conference, so it's all clear for a sausage roll. And, uh, well, I'll tell you what, the spread of the ball uh, in the forward line is really doing them some good service. Yeah, super effort there. It was the first time that, uh, I guess, the Wanderers defenders were able to bring the, bring the ball to ground, but the, uh, the Banks players swooped on the loose footy and, and capitalised once again. Playing some really good footy, they, they'll be hard to stop from here. And the 1% of effort there by Doughty as he's falling away, but got the handball out, was inspirational stuff as Doughty again swoops on the ball. Oh, geez, great turn of speed there. Oh, great tackle as well. There by Nook Mansell, probably a little bit too much in it and a bit of feeling being shown again as Rhodes is going in hard. Going in again, there was Motlop using his body well. Off to Thomas, misses, judges the bounce, gets up with the ball. Quick kick away, snap it and uh, just falls into the hands of 12 free. So 12 free. Goes on to the outer side, looking for teammate in Glassborough. Uses his body well, marks in front of Roberts. Chips it across, finds Mock. Again, another good kick. And this is another good build-up here for the Bulldogs. Just edging his player underneath that was the forward there and uh, was picked out in the end. So Motlop will take the free kick. This is Brenton on the, the outer side. Finds Erlinson. Erlinson looking in the Roberts direction. Been out of play. And uh, great defensive work there by the Bulldogs. So they just want it more, don't they? They're on show here. They're, they're showing AFL NT uh, Chiefs that, hey, they want to play in Premier Division. That's the way they're playing at the moment. And over the next couple of weeks, it's all about pretty much putting on a show and saying that you can match it in this competition. So Redden, brilliant handball across. Oh, another easy link-up play. Punched away there that time. Really sharking the ball well here are Banks. Beechan taps it away, but it's Bates who will be first on the scene. He's under a bit of pressure. Shakes one tackle. Hand passes really to no one in Wanderers colours that can help him out. Trying to shake a tackle here is Redden. Hemmed up on the boundary line. Looking for a bit of, bias, well, space to bounce the ball through. Doesn't go the right way about it. Hand pass over the top there to Bond. Linking up, Thomas Motlop making a lead. Doesn't like what he could see there in Rhodes. He hand passes over there to Bond again. Wants to get it away. Geez, they're just mucking around with the ball here, the Wanderers at the moment. Look a bit tired, in fact. And we're running into the second quarter of round two. Just needed some clean disposal there, the Wanderers. And, uh, yeah, they look like they're under a lot of pressure. They really need to uh, have some composure about them and get their disposal right. So ball thrown in, 70 metres out from Banks attacking Goldmouth. Quick kick away that time. Into the middle of the ground. Well sharked there by Farrah. That's Jason. Doughty linking up there with Canopo. Lovely lace out kick, uh, but a strong mark taken in defence there by Bates. Uses his nous well. Just in front of Baldock. So Bates goes along the scoreboard wing looking for Erlinson. Seen over the top. He uses his body well and he's got a great turn of speed as well. Good hip and shoulder there by Wilson. Plays on quickly. Into Motlop. He misjudges the ball. Beechin goes in hard. Brilliant tackle there by Motlop. Geez, they're quick on the holding of the ball decision. It's like watching footy in the 1980s with the umpiring at the moment. We love those decisions. It's great. Bit indecisive here, Thomas Motlop. Helicopter kick with the wind. Finds Aaron. That's Aaron Motlop. Got a play streaming forward. Bit of space. Chips it across to Rutland. So Rutland Roberts, the former Tiger. That's a Richmond Tiger and uh, finds a lead up mark in Jerry Wilson. So Wilson with the ball deep underneath the banyan tree in front of his supporters and uh, of course the coach hoping that they can uh, put another score on the board. Uh, have been goalless so far this quarter. Take a good kick from here. Especially with this win. So Wilson. 
right behind it. Oh, stabs at the kick, struggles to make a score even, and he's put it out of bounds on the full. So whether that's a lack of confidence or stubbing the toe, one or the other, Banks have the ball, and they've got away with murder on this one. Well, though, much more positive transition from Wanderers. They really need to move the footy on quickly. At every contest, they're getting beaten aerially, so they need to use their strengths, which is their, which is their pace uh, around the ground. So Doughty gets it inboard, finds the likes of uh, Kanelki. And uh, it's kept in play, is it? Great work there by the Banks Bulldogs to keep it in play and really set up an opportunity here for Hamilton as he overruns it. And it's a foot race that's on at the moment. As Smitherum for Banks put some pressure on the ball. Good work there by Warramaba. Thomas Motlop under pressure. Bulldog lays out kick. And the Banks will be lining up for another one. 45 degree angle, 35 metres out. Bates marking it. Tyrrell, nice little build up here. Oh, geez. Uh, hasn't looked online, but the wind might help him out. And it's through for a behind. Had the uh, inward outward swing going, but not enough. Another behind there for the Bulldogs.